Hey City Hill Church, an update that's got a bit of information as well as some encouragement. So information first. Our president announced on Tuesday night new restrictions due to the third wave of COVID infections and so public gatherings have been reduced to 50 people or less. Um, as we have done during previous waves, we are therefore going back to an online only service on Sundays. That is as it's always been broadcast at 9 a.m and uh, it runs for just less than an hour, so I trust that you'll join us this coming Sunday. Which leads me to my encouragement. It's possible that if you view just the COVID stats and the news of the world around you and the fact that there's some school holidays coming up, that you think in your mind and subconsciously, man, I'm just gonna take a little break from my uh, connection with church and maybe even your connection with God. I'll dial back in again when the numbers are better. I'm so grateful that God never takes a break in his connection with us. And so I'd like to strongly encourage you as I'm talking to myself and saying these things, is first of all, let's maintain our connection with Christ directly. Let's push in even more to reading our Bibles, to spending time with him in prayer, connecting with him one-on-one. -on -one. He loves us and he's present with us. He's a good father. Secondly, is to connect with church. We are broadcasting our meetings on Sundays and we're also starting a new series this Sunday, coincidentally, which is through the book of Joshua, and we've called the series Daring Greatly. I feel God has put a word on my heart for our church this coming Sunday, because the text for the Sunday is Be Strong and Courageous, and that's been planned for a few months. The book of Joshua is all about moving forward, all about taking inheritance in, the sp in spite of obstacles, in spite of opposition, is that God is with us and will work miraculously on our behalf. And the third thing that we need to stay connected to is community. Our friendships with each other, with other believers in our church and in other churches is vital. It keeps us energized, it keeps us encouraged. It helps us to regulate our emotions and our feelings and to move forward. And when one day you're down, your friend might be feeling stronger and vice versa. And so as a community, we encourage each other. So let's stay connected to Christ, to his church and to our community within that local church. Trust you have a wonderful week ahead. God bless.